Hi, my name is Josh Evilsizer, and today I'm going to show you how to use Google's Help Me Write feature in Google Docs. I want you to keep watching if you're here because you need help finding or unlocking Google's Help Me Write button, or you'd like to know how to use Google's Help Me Write feature. All right, I got two redirects before we get started. First, you must have enabled Help Me Write through Google Labs. You're like, uh-oh, I haven't done that. Too easy, I got you. So comment section down below, video 69 will show you how to do that. Second, help me organize and visualize, which is in Google Slides and Sheets respectively, <laughs> video 70, 71 down below. Today we're talking about Help Me Write. We're not doing those other two. Okay, now we learn. Help Me Write helps you do what exactly? Two things, generate and refine content. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in just one second, uh, but a little bit more information first. Okay, so the help me write how to. How do I generate with a prompt? I'm gonna show you that. Then I'm gonna show you something extra, which is how to generate with a refined prompt. So we make the prompt better to, get a, to give us a better output. Uh, the components of a good prompt are about seven to eight components or, or pieces of a good prompt. And I'm gonna list those down below, but we're not gonna go, go, we're not gonna go over them today. They're there for your perusal later on. This Google Doc will be linked in the comments section down below as well. What we will go over is the refined components that Google will present to us as well. I'm going to list these. There's about seven of those, uh, but we're going to go over them in the demo as well. Uh, finally, uh, we'll insert or replace our uh, what we've generated and we'll be done. Let's jump on over to the Google Doc, shall we? All right, so our cursor is blinking. We're ready to go. And you can see here, before I highlight it and I wave over it, the help, the ever elusive help me write button. If you do not see this in Google Docs, you have not completed step step one, which is enable help me write through Google Labs, which is video 69, uh, comment section below, check that out first. Uh, it's super easy. But now that it's on, we're gonna go ahead and click the help me write button. What I'm gonna do is make myself smaller so I'm out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and give it a prompt write a letter of recommendation, create. Um, and what we're gonna see here is this is just for whatever reason, just a not enough information for Google, as you see here. So I'm gonna click the X, discard, take that same prompt, and I've got kind of a workaround for you uh, as, a, as a method for showing you how to use the elaborate tool. So here we go, we've got the same write a letter of recommendation phrase, I've highlighted it. Now I'm gonna click the help me write button and select the elaborate function. For whatever reason, this is not too hard for Google, whereas the prompt was. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna see a very generic letter of recommendation because we gave it no information about us or who we're writing it for or our audience, so on and so forth. All those components of a refined prompt. Um, so we can see here it's, it's very generic, doesn't really meet our needs, so we're going to refine this prompt. Up here we click, and you see how it went from active to kind of inactive, and now we can, uh, we can edit it. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a much more elaborate or refined prompt or detailed prompt. So there we go. I'm going to click the update button, and you're going to see Google spit out a very or a much more helpful letter of recommendation. My name... Uh, the name of the person we're writing it for. Uh, it's got more specifics in there about the military and this person's um, highlights of their career, so on and so forth. So it's a much director of program management. That's neat. That's a new one. Last time it gave me a phone number of five 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 five. In any event, it's gotten us much closer. Okay. Well, I'm going to hit all four of these things. So right now we've already updated it. Now we're going to refine it. And so down here we've got the refine button, and I got some options. I could change the tone so I could make it more formal or more casual, depending on what I need, of course. Uh, I don't want to summarize it. I don't want to bulletize it. I've already elaborated. Uh, I could shorten it if I want to. Uh, not going to do that here, uh, but then we could also do a retry. Yeah, I don't like this at all. It's I'm not a director of, pro, you know, let's, let's try this again, Google. So I hit the retry button and it's going to give us another shot. Now, for the sake of brevity, we're going to just take whatever it gives us this time and kind of roll with that. Um, oh, that's interesting. We're still learning. Couldn't couldn't refine the selected text. Very interesting. Uh, so we'll go ahead and what are we going to do here? So I'm going to elaborate on this one more time. That was 
That's the first time I've seen that happen, and I've practiced this a few times. All right, so there we go. Let's say we like it. Now we've got an option to either replace, so it's gonna replace this information right here, um, or we can just insert it, which will just put it right below it, and there we go. Good to hook. All right, what I wanna show you next is the summarize function. So here we go, we got a cool article uh, that, I, that I have copied from PocketLint, so all the credits are right here. Um, not trying to pass this off as my own. Going to go ahead and highlight the entirety of the article, explaining to us how to use Google's Help Me Write. Um, I thought that was appropriate. And if we scroll up to the top, there is our Help Me Write button. And I'm going to click the Summarize tool or button. Let's see what it gives us. All right. Took that long article, uh, a quick executive summary at the top or intro, and then some bullet points. Very helpful. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and insert this below it and we've got our summary down at the bottom. Thanks, Google. All right, our next example is bulletized. So the same article, it's gonna go ahead and highlight the entirety of it. Scroll back up to the top and find the Help Me Write button, and then click the Bulletize button. I think what we'll find is um, less of a summary like the last one and more of just a bulletized list of the article, and there you go. Uh, so there's your bulletize function. Uh, shorten. How are we going to do that? So we've got a great, very wordy paragraph from Mr. James Joyce here from his book, Ulysses. So we're going to hide. Oh, I didn't tell it what to do with this last one. So we'll go ahead and discard that uh, back down to our shorten paragraph here. So we've highlighted it. And now we're going to tell it, please just make this, this very long paragraph a little bit shorter, please. And as you can imagine, Google's going to spit out a much, much shorter uh sentence here. I'm going to go ahead and replace it. So we've replaced the previous text with this much shorter uh, sentence. Finally, rephrase and retry. Uh, so depending on what you're doing or where you're at in the content generation or refinement process will determine uh, whether Google gives you the rephrase or retry. And you can see here it's rephrase. Before, you may have seen it say retry when I was messing with those other options. Because now it's giving us the option to just reword this paragraph that ostensibly we wrote or somebody else wrote. Hey, how can I rephrase this for you is what it's trying to do for you. So there we go, rephrase. Retry is of course when you're asking it to retry whatever content it just generated for you. Great job, Google. We're gonna go ahead and replace our previous content with this rephrased content. And finally, the wild card, the custom. So I've taken a previously generated letter of recommendation. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that. This custom feature is essentially the do whatever you want <laughs> uh, function. And so we're gonna come up here, we're gonna select the help me write or tell me what to do. And so here it's giving me the option to make it a poem. I'm not super creative, so I'm just gonna go, <laughs> I'm gonna roll with that, make it a poem. And so Google is gonna turn this, this great letter of recommendation into a poem for me. Maybe. Isn't that beautiful? So there you go, I will, I will go ahead and I'm just gonna insert this below because I'm actually gonna keep this letter of recommendation, it's pretty good. Uh, but those are all the functions of Help Me Write. That's it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just make myself a little bit bigger there for our outro. Um, so what I wanna do is first thank you uh, for showing up for the know-how and for sticking around for the know-why. Uh, please do, of course, check out all my other videos to get more of each. Uh, finally, as I always say, if this is helpful, please like, subscribe, and share with somebody else that might find it useful or enjoy it. Uh, and please remember, you can, uh, in the comment section down below, are ways to reach me, uh, a copy of this outline, uh, and much other helpful linked goodness. As I say, or as always, um, as I say, uh, as always, if you leave questions, I will leave answers. Now, please go and be productive.